Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Uh, here we are, it's still the 6th of November, 2021. It is Saturday night, and uh, so obviously we made it back in one piece from our motorcycle ride. And uh, Miss Pandora is here with me, and Miss Hell is laying down here on the ground, and Caesar's over here. They love the fire. Um, as you can see, it's going very nicely in the background, and they do enjoy uh, lapping up the heat from that. So it is probably about seven o'clock right now. I figured I'd do my second video. Obviously, it's completely dark outside now. Uh, as of this weekend, we have to turn the clocks back. And no, yeah, fall back. So we turn the clocks back, which means it'll be darker even sooner. So we will be dark by like five o'clock at night. Um, not my favorite time of year because it's just so dark so early it's ridiculous but what are you gonna do that is part of what we have to deal with and uh, so good times but anyway uh, I wanted to talk to you guys tonight uh, about we are being fed so much BS um, in the news it is unbelievable uh, it, it is amazing to me how anybody believes anything that is being put out there uh, by the uh, so-called experts, meaning the um, you know the channels that uh, have uh, you know CNN, MSNBC, and all those other ones, and just the lies that they put out constantly. It, it is amazing to me. So, but. Uh, it is just, uh, it, it blows me away. It really, really blows me away. And it's just, the what blows me away even more is a number of people that subscribe and believe whatever they are fed by these news agencies. Uh, don't even think about thinking for yourself. Don't even think about doing any of your own research and looking at things that way to find out what is real, what is BS, what is not, and uh, they, people just don't. They just, they automatically believe whatever they're presented with, that that is the truth and that is it. Well, that's obviously not the case, as it has been proven over and over and over again. I will always encourage you, and I've said it many, many times on my channel, whatever I say, I ask you to do your own research, find out your own information, uh, see if I'm telling the truth or if I'm just blowing smoke up your behind. Uh, I, I try to be honest to a fault. If I make a mistake, uh, I am the first one to come on this channel and say, hey, I screwed up, I made a mistake. I never have had a problem doing so, ever. But, uh, you know, these... Uh, politicians and uh, you know all those type of people they just uh, they're going to continue to BS you excuse me tell you what you want to hear never be honest about anything and that is a huge problem so the truth in them are not friends <laughs> they're just not and uh, so like I said I, I've always tried to keep it real with you guys uh, always will continue to keep it real like, like I said I will be the first, if I screw up, if I make a mistake, I will be the first to come on here and say, hey, I screwed this up, I was wrong, I made a mistake. Because realistically, we're all human beings. Uh, we all make mistakes. We all say things without doing the proper research, doing the uh, you know, proper due diligence to make sure what we are saying is 100% the truth. Uh, one good example, I'll give you a great example, something that I had said. And I came back afterwards and I said that I was 100% wrong. When you go back to the video of the young man down in Washington, D.C., and he had Make America Great Again hat on, and you see the video of him with the uh, Indian guy with the drum, and the Indian guy is banging the drum like in this kid's face. And the look on his face was a smugness. And I made a mistake. I, I absolutely prejudged. Uh, I believed at the time, because, you know, that was what was being put out there, that this kid was the aggressor. When, in fact, 
he was not the aggressor, that the Indian gentleman came up and got in this kid's face. So uh, the way that that kid held his composure, did the right thing, did not be confrontational in that situation, uh, you know, I was completely wrong. And I came on the next day and I said, hey, I screwed up, I was 100% wrong, uh, this is what the real situation was and this is what happened. Um, we all make mistakes. So I'm not immune to it. I, I'm not perfect. I don't believe I'm perfect in any way. Uh, you know, but again, uh, we all make mistakes and it happens. It really does. So, uh, you know, being honest with ourselves, I think is a good thing. But these politicians, uh, they have a, a, a level of depravity that I can't even begin to comprehend. Um, they lie like it's part of what they do in life. Uh, they will never be honest about anything. Uh, you know, they will never take responsibility for their own personal actions. You know, like I said, if you ask them a direct yes or no answer, you are never going to get a yes or no answer, ever. It's not what they do. They cannot be honest. They don't know how to do it. Um, even if they're wrong, they're going to jump around. I'm going to do a Stella sighting when I'm actually wearing a gray shirt. Hey. You can see her. Yes. Miss Stella. You can Maybe. see that she just is so hateful of me. Oh, no trust at all. Poor, poor, poor kitty. She's, she's so abused. It's, it's terrible. Poor thing. You can see it. She's just... Oh, poor <laughs> You guys can't hear, but she's just purring away. Yeah, she is purring away. So how about this? So I need to get new collars for all the animals. Um, the fleas and the ticks have been like ridiculously bad this year, and I was hoping to try to get to that point where I could wait until the spring to get their collars because they're expensive. And uh, when you have ten animals, uh, three cats or three dogs and seven cats, it's not cheap to get Soralto collars. And that's what I like to use. And I know Soralto's had their issues, but I've never had an issue with their collars. I think they're a great collar. I think the people that have had issues maybe used the wrong collar on the wrong animal. That's kind of what I think ended up happening. But So we went the other day, and I need seven cat collars, and I need three dog collars. Well, we went to Tractor Supply. Caesar over there, like, taking all the food out of his dish because he's a nut job. Um, they had one large dog collar and they had three cat collars. So today, I uh, switched out Galco's collar because he is out the most. He's out in you know the woods and stuff like that quite a bit. So I switched his collar out already. Uh, Hella will get one of the, the only dog collar that we have at the moment. And then we're probably gonna do Maximus and Stella uh, with the other two cat collars. And uh, you know, then I'll just, I, we stopped today when we went out for a ride uh, stopped down at Walmart to see if they had any collars and they had two collars for small dogs well I don't have small dogs <laughs> so um, they had no cat collars so I'm just gonna have to wait until they get them and so what we're gonna do is as we get them we'll do a certain number of animals and uh, you know we'll try to get some more and we'll go from there but uh, yeah it's a uh, it's a trip something as simple as that is a flea collar it is very difficult right now to even get something like that. So, we're in really unprecedented territory. We really truly are. Um, I will always continue to press you guys to continue to prep, uh, continue to do the things that you need to do to protect yourselves and your families. Um, I've had an influx within the last few videos of a lot of people saying, Oh, well, I rely on God. God will take care of me. There's many fables in the Bible that prove that, uh, you know, God basically said, take care of yourself. So those of you that are going to sit there and just wait for God to take care of you and provide for you, uh, I think that is not the smart way to do it. And that's just, I'm, I'm giving you my opinion. Um, God wants you to be proactive. He wants you to prepare for the worst, hope for the best, 
And, uh, you know, I think that, you know, people that are putting that message out there, well, I don't do anything because I rely on God. He'll protect me and he'll do what I need to do. Uh, I think that's, a, you know, that blind faith like that is not the smartest thing in the world. You know, like I said, there's many, many examples in the Bible. Uh, you know, you look at Joseph and uh, the, with the, um, you know, the Pharaoh. And, uh, you know, he, Joseph came and interpreted the Pharaoh's dream. And it said seven years of plentifulness and then seven years of drought. And so the Pharaoh ended up putting Joseph in charge of stocking up and making sure that in those plentiful seven years that there was plenty for those years that were drought stricken. And that's exactly what happened. And they were able to survive that because uh, the Pharaoh in his wisdom and having his dream interpreted uh, made the right call. If you do nothing, if you are not proactive at all, uh, that is not the smart way to go. Uh, I will always encourage you to be proactive. It doesn't matter to me if you're religious, you're not religious. I don't care. I really don't. It doesn't make any bit of difference to me at all. What I want is for whatever's coming, and I believe that it is coming, for all of you to do the best to survive your situations, your circumstances, uh, being proactive in, in putting in that time and effort to help yourselves makes all the difference in the world. So I will always continue to, to push that, you know, for you guys. So, um, real quick, I want to talk about my website, PrepperNurse1.com. We have the PrepperNurse1 community there, which is a resource that we set up for you guys to be able to connect with like-minded people. Uh, also, it is free to join. does not cost anything. You do have to register, but no credit card information is asked at all. Oh, there's a bug on there. Um... No credit card information was is asked, so it's completely free. Definitely take advantage of that. You try to find people in your area or your state or your country that are like-minded. Also, we have the Forefathers, which is a CBD and hemp store. It is free to join. Um, that is, well, it's not joining that. I'm sorry. I misspoke. Um, if you go to their website, if you go to my, my website, PrepperNurse1.com, you will see the logo for the Forefathers. If you click on that, it will take you to their website. Once you are on their website, if you decide to make a CBD or hemp purchase, when you check out, make sure you use the discount code PREPPERNURSE1. And that's the number one, um, not O-N-E. And if you do that, you'll save yourself 15% on your purchase. So definitely take advantage of that. Last but not least, we have the Legacy Freeze-Dried Foods on my website. So if you go to PrepperNurse1.com, you click on Store, it will drop down, you will see Legacy Foods. You click on that, it will take you to the store within the website. What we have available is there. Uh, definitely take advantage of that. 25-year shelf life, GMO-free. Uh, there are gluten options available for people that need that. It is vegetarian, but there are beef and chicken options available that you can purchase separately. So definitely take advantage of that as well. Uh, good thing to have in your long-term preps. Hedging your bets, having different things is just a smart thing to do. So definitely take advantage of that. Uh, also, uh, remember guys, we are truly all in this together. We are one race called the human race. And as soon as people can figure that out, we're going to be in much, much better shape. Also remember to hug and kiss the ones that you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen in life. So it's really important to tell the people that we care about every day how we feel. Last but not least, STD, step, thing, and day. One step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you are trying to do, whatever you are trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only person that can stop you from achieving your goals is you. That's it. Nobody else. Stay positive, stay away from the negativity, and you're going to be just fine. Uh, keep prepping, keep getting ready. Do what you have to do. Do your due diligence. Be smart, and you're going to you're gonna be better off in the long run. All right? So anyway, guys, I'm going to jump off here for now. I hope you all have a great night. I hope you're safe this Saturday. I will see you all tomorrow. Uh, I will be live streaming tomorrow night at 8 p.m., so definitely join me for that. I will talk to you all later. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.